Hey dolls! Today we are going to be unboxing Kawaii Box! I have not unboxed one of these in a little bit of a while, I think. And I believe the company is doing a giveaway, so I will post the little link to the widget down below. Just follow that link and it will explain on that page how you can enter the giveaway to win one of your own Kawaii Boxes. I fell in love with Kawaii Box when I very first opened it, and then I kind of started detouring away from it because it wasn't they didn't have as many like cute characters like traditional characters that you would typically see in Japan they recently reached out to me and told me that they were their next box was going to have a lot of character items in it so of course I was very excited to kind of hop back on the kawaii box train and do a little unboxing for you guys that is of the box that contains a lot of character items so uh with that being said i guess let's go ahead and open this uh first of all i love the packaging it is so precious with the little hearts and then it says kawaii box right there i will also post the link down below to get your own kawaii box if you want to go ahead and pay the monthly subscription for it i can't remember if this is the October or November or December box. I don't remember which one this is exactly. I'll probably have to do a little bit of research and dig it up. But, uh, or maybe there will be a little note in here that says, but yes, let's open this on up. On the top it says cuteness overload and it says tips for the perfect unboxing document share and smile. <laughs> that is new. I didn't see that on the older boxes back when I was unboxing them prior. Very cute. They have the classic Kawaii Box tissue paper. It just has the little logo on there. Oh, very cute. I mean, obviously, it's a box full of cuteness. That's what it's supposed to be. Here's what the inside looks like. You can see we have a plush right here. Now, correct me if I slaughter the pronunciation of this, but I believe these are the Mame Goma mommy goma seal characters it, does that make sense i think that's what it is i can never pronounce like japanese character names like ever unless it's like hello kitty or my melody it's kind of like obvious but even like Gudetama, i couldn't remember like how to pronounce that for like the longest time but look how cute it even has a little pink bow on the top it's just a cute little white seal and you can see all the little characters right there but like I said, I believe it's the Mame Goma. I think I could be totally pronouncing that wrong though, but very, very precious. I love the little blushy cheeks and the little face. Look at how cute it is. Rebel, my dog, he's sitting right here right now. He's getting his hair cut on Wednesday, so he's very hairy, but he's sitting right next to me right now and he thinks that this is his new toy. I'm sorry, baby, this isn't for you. Okay, then in here we have some blippo little hair clips. They're like little foods. We have uh, a honey pot, a hot dog, and a peach um, juice box. <laughs> they're very cute. I love the little honey bee on there. So precious. And they're just like little hair clips. Then we have some of these little candies in here. And these are probably that Ramune. Again, I'm so sorry if I'm mispronouncing that. Please correct me in the comments. I believe it's Ramune or Ramune or Ramune. I, I don't remember exactly how to pronounce it. But this is the, I think these are some of those tasty little candies. Oh, they look like little Smarties. You guys know what Smarties look like, like in the U.S. Oh, and they have... They have the exact same texture, like it just dissolved. That was cool. But yeah, I think these are like the Ramune flavor. Then we have a super cute little Pikachu. I think this is a little notebook. Yeah, it's a little notebook. Little diary notebook. It has a little girl in a Pikachu little hoodie. It says, let's go at the top. Very cute. And then the pages just look like so. And you can date them at the top, which is very cool because like you could use this as like a little journal or diary or what have you. Again, another good character item. <laughs> then we have this adorable little pin. It says, can you keep a secret? <laughs> and it just looks like this. There you can see, can you keep a secret? And then it's got this little boot that has a little bear face on it. And I think, oh yeah, okay, this is the pin 
itself. So you just take like the little boot off and just put it on the top and then you can write with the pen. And it is black ink. That is cute. I like that it's pink. Very cute. And I think this bear is from something, but I'm not exactly sure what. Let me know in the comments down below if you know. Aww. Okay, then we have some Gure Tama stickers, which just look like this. Sorry for the reflection from my ring light, but you can see just little Gure Tama stickers. <laughs> Very cute. Very good character item there. And then we have these are so pretty. I'm gonna like put these on my face. These are uh, like twinkle jewel seal but they're like little um uh, i think they're like little bejeweled heart stickers they can like put on the back of a phone case or it even shows on the back to like seal envelopes with letters scrapbooking wrapping presents decorating basically yeah they're just gold and silver silver and gold it's that time of year again you guys can you believe christmas is less than a month away I still have some shopping to do. And then the last thing we have in here is this little pouch. And I always, always, always mispronounce the name of these characters. There's also little um, papers in the bottom right here. Oh, this is the November box. Kawaii Thanksgiving Parade is what it says. I believe that this is the... It says Kanahai soft string bag does that make sense i'm not sure i always mispronounce the name of this character in particular so let me know if you know in the comment section down below yet again uh very cute though it's just like a yellow little drawstring bag it has the little characters in there and even on the little tag it has the same little characters i don't know why this bunny is like punching this chicken in the face is it like poking its cheek or like punching him I can't really tell, but <laughs> at least they're happy right here, so that's good. So yeah, and then it comes with a couple little pamphlets. There is Japan Candy Box, which I will link down below if you guys want to check out that as well. Um, it has a get a free gift. Just add any item to your cart and enter this code. So I might actually use that on Blippo. And then they always have these little giveaways where if you get your own box and you take a picture of it and tag it, hashtag kawaii box, you can win like this mega prize package that has all these super cute little character items and stuff. I will post all the links and all the information in the description box below. And then there was the little card that had all of the items that I unboxed. So if you were curious about something, you can go ahead and screenshot that or pause the video and just kind of read what all there was included and oh my gosh this is so cute at the very bottom it says see you again next month with like this little happy heart i don't know that's very cute with that that is everything in the kawaii box for november i hope you all enjoyed this video if you did please give it a big thumbs up check out japan candy box and kawaii box and all those fun ones in the description box down below and I guess with that, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go, and I will talk to you all next time. So, until then, so long, stay strong, stay true, and be you. Alright, bye!